Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out Crafty Little Rosebud here on YouTube. Today I've got a haul for you all. As you can tell, this is from Erin Condren. Um, I did already take my items out of the box and I will link the shop below. I've also got a small little washi haul. Again, I will link that shop below. Um, so this is for the new Life Planner release. Um, I did not buy a lot, but I did get one of the new Life Planners. It did come in this super pretty, I'll show you the color, um, this purple box here, but I did go ahead and empty that and take some of the packaging off of some of the items to make this go a little bit quicker. Um, before we dive into it, like I did say, I will link them below, but I also do have a referral code or a referral link below to Erin Condren. It gets you $10 off your first purchase. It also gives me $10 um, that I can put towards bringing hauls for you all. So first things first is she has started doing this super cute newsletter here and it just kind of goes through. It explains the kaleidoscope design. Um, it kind of tells you about some of the items and yes my lighting is really wonky tonight so i apologize but it tells you about some of the items in the shop new planner charms new items coming um and all of that um lots of people have showed that in their videos i'm not going to walk through it i'm just going to show you all what i got so we always get a little label and postcard and it looks like the new designs have not started yet because this is still the woven wonder but that's fine um then i did pick up as you can tell by the box i picked up a neutral planner um, i'll show that in just a moment but first i'm going to show you the accessories i grabbed i did grab the compliment cards you get 10 in a pack and i just thought these would be good to use for little cards for people um, for gifts so i'll just show you those really quick um, I really loved the kaleidoscope design, so I wanted to grab these little items that had the kaleidoscope design that I could share with others without breaking the bank because I did pay for this all out of pocket. So, but I thought they were so cute and they're foiled and I just thought those would be good. Um, and then as far as the back, they're blank on the back so you can write whatever you want. So there is those. Then I did pick up the sticker book. I really like the Erin Condren sticker books and the fact that it had some of the kaleidoscope designs in it made me want it. So here are like some quote boxes. And again, I'm not going to read through them. There's lots of more in-depth flip throughs of all of these items. I just kind of wanted to show you all what I picked up. So, then this is on the clear sticker paper and I might go ahead and lay some of these down for birthdays. And then here's what I really wanted was these kaleidoscope washi strips that are foiled and then the kaleidoscope boxes. So pretty much I bought this book just for a few stickers. Um, I will find a way to use them all at some point. Um, then you've got these here and they are in clear sticker paper, which means you actually cannot write on them. So I'm not even sure how I'll use those, but we'll figure something out. And then these are on clear sticker paper as well, but they do have the kaleidoscope design there. And then these are some gift labels here. So I will probably try to use those for some birthdays coming up just so they get used or I'll hang on to them and apply them to Christmas presents. And then there is the back of that. Then I did grab this. It was all in packaging. This is kind of the checklist and I just thought this would be good to either make note of things I need to write down or maybe I'll do habit tracking. I really haven't decided, but I did wanna go ahead and grab it. And then the back is just some dot grid. Then, as you can tell, I did get a neutral planner. I went with the neutral vertical. I decided that I was going to change up my planner setup a little bit, and I'm going to use this as my memory planner. Since the um, mini happy planner that I currently use 
will end in July. So I did go ahead and pick up the 18 month vertical um, Erin Condren planner. You'll have to ignore that glare there. Um, it did come with the ruler and as many people have mentioned, it is much sturdier than the previous rulers and it actually pops in and out a lot easier. So there is the ruler. I went ahead and just got the um, plain neutral cover because I really liked it and I thought it would fit my needs. And then um, that is the inside there and you got your little goodie pack and I'll just show you what's in it. You know you get the coupons, the compliment cards. Um, so I'll just show you the design. So here are the compliment cards that came in it. I don't know if they always get the same or if there's a variety, but that's the ones I got. And then we got the gift labels and then our coupon codes. So, and again, there's so many videos out there. I'm not gonna do a full flip through. Um, I did do the 18 month. Here is this page. And let's see if I can get, zoom out far enough. Here is our vellum page on the go life planner. And then I'm just kind of kind of do a quick flip through if my page will turn. So there is those. Then we've got our 2019 starting in July all the way to December 2020 monthly layout or year at a glance, I guess. And then we've got our 12 boxes and I'm going to use this as a memory planner. So I might put like highlights of the month and maybe a picture or something like that here. I haven't quite decided, but um, I will figure that out. Then you've got the note pages, this page here, and then you get kind of your monthly dashboard. And so I am going to pre-plan. I will write out all of my family birthdays for each month. Um, goals, this will probably be covered up since it is memory planning. I will probably do something different with it. Maybe like um, activities that we did since there's four there. We generally do four bigger activities a month. Um, so I'm really not sure how I'm going to use this page yet with the exception of the birthdays. And then I figured the dot grid again might be some kind of highlight. So I'll have to figure that out. But um, I really like this and I'll be able to use just about any kit. And then here is my monthly view and I do have kits um, that I can use in my monthly view and I'm just gonna kind of again put highlights in the monthly. Um, I'll probably cover the sidebar up with deco. And then here is what the layout looks like and I am just going to print um, pictures to put in and play around with it. So the first six months, to be honest, July to December is probably gonna be a learning curve on how to memory plan with this since I was just using a mini horizontal happy planner, but I'm super excited to have more space to add pictures and more details of our weekly events. So that is the layout and then we'll just go ahead and flip through the back. Like I said, many other people have done flip throughs, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, here is what we get in the notes. You've got line note pages here. Then you've got your color or your dot grid with the design that was on the ruler on the sides of the pages. Then you've got your coloring sheets here. And then it came with a kind of a hexagon page to fill in. Contacts, which this might be really good for working on wedding stuff. And then here is in the coming year for 2021. And it's just kind of a year at a glance again. Then here are our stickers. And again, I loved these um, neutral stickers more than I did the colorful. Um, I thought that they fit my style a little bit more um, being the pastels. And these actually, um, these purples and blues are kind of what I want for the wedding. So I thought I could maybe even use them in the wedding planner if I end up doing that colorway. So beautiful habit trackers. Let's see, um, celebration and cute little um, decorative stickers down here. 
And then we've got some bars. And again, if I end up using some of these colors for the wedding, I'll definitely be putting those in the wedding planner. Then here is the folder. It's got the two big pockets that everyone wanted. Um, I actually liked this one small pocket. I even bought a set of them to use on other planners, but that is fine. And then we got the perpetual planner here. So that is everything I got from Erin Condren. Like I said, it was not a large order. I just wanted to go ahead and get the planner ordered um, so that I could start laying out birthdays and figuring out how I wanted to use it. Then um, I did get a small little order in from Rose Colored Days. She wrote my name here. Um, and it really is a small order. She has these washi overlay stickers. Um, that are actually perforated to be headers. Here is a little freebie. Here is a May dashboard freebie. And then the ones that I picked up are the hearts, the moons, the hearts and the moons. And um, I got the hearts in, I believe, rose gold and either hollow or silver. And then I got the moons in hollow. And I'll get those open and I'll show you all those real quick. And then that's really all I have. Um, it was not a large order. I do have a larger order from Erin Condren. I was waiting on the coupons from the Life Planner before I placed it. So there probably will be a larger order coming soon that I will have to share with you all. And by soon, I honestly just mean sometime this summer. So let's see. So I did get the hollow hearts. So you see those? The hollow heart confetti. And then I got the moon phases in hollow as well. Can you tell I like hollow? There are those. And then I got the hearts in rose gold as well. If I can get them lifted up, I will show you. Let's see. Okay, and there are the hearts in rose gold. So that is everything I got from her, and I will link her shop below as well. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good night. Bye.